Earth. Fire. Air. Water. Hey, Katara. Sokka. I don't think I want to be the Avatar anymore. Hey, how's it going everybody? So today I'm excited to be back for another custom printed LEGO minifigure review once again by Minifig Madness. I previously reviewed their first Robert Pattinson Batman not too long ago and now today I've got their Air Monk or of course Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender. Now, I don't have any plans currently to do my own custom Avatar minifigures as much as I would love to, so I thought it would be really fun to bring uh, Avatar to the channel, at least in some small capacity like this, with this review on this UV printed minifigure, and I'm excited to get into this one. None of these pieces are actually included, by the way, just the minifigure, just to make sure I get that out of the way before we get into this. So, with all that said, let's get started. All right, so here we go. Of course, this is Aang as he appeared in the final season of the show, and this is for a UV printed figure, I mean, really good. And those of you guys who don't know, UV printing is a little less sharp. It's um, like slightly more faded looking. I mean, people who actually work with printing on a more regular basis would be able to offer you the appropriate terms. However, it's just not quite digital printing and certainly not pad printing, but it definitely still does the job. And I think it really works well here, surprisingly. Um, what stands out the most to me is just how vibrant the blues are for the stripes on Aang's arms and on his hands. Unfortunately, I think I was given two left hands, so the other arrow on this one is uh, facing toward the torso, which is okay, and in certain poses I face the hand the other way anyway, so it doesn't really ruin the figure for me, but what's really great is how well the printing wraps around all sides of this minifigure, except for the insides of the legs, of course. Those hard-to-reach areas are often not printed on custom minifigures like like this but the alignment is all really solid and I just love how vibrant this figure is between the oranges the uh, deeper dark yellows the dark reds I love how the robe like the tassel here kind of seamlessly comes down from the torso and onto the legs it almost looks like one continuous piece I mean again for a UV printed figure this is pretty impressive looking and makes for a really great addition to the collection it's just uh, for me the biggest problem would probably be the head. I really don't think the face design is all that great. I, I don't really think that captures Aang's likeness perfectly. I think the eyes and the brows could be adjusted a little bit. And then obviously, again, because of the limitations of printing, the arrow is not continuous. There's a bit of a fade here, and then it cuts off until it continues up onto the stud, which is to be expected. I don't think I've ever seen anyone print a design that doesn't have that problem in that spot. Um, but overall, the design work, aside from, I think, the eyes, is just really impressive. This figure I think is worth it, but I more so believe that it depends on how much you love Avatar The Last Airbender because for 30 bucks, I do wish that maybe like his staff was included, you know, just a bar piece like this, but obviously you can pull one from your own Lego collection and it's not that big of a deal, but those are just my honest thoughts. I'm really happy to have an Aang figure now. It's something that has definitely uh, been a desire of mine since I never got any of the Avatar sets when I was a kid, so this is really cool and I'm looking forward to the rest of the Avatar figures that Minifig Madness produces. I know I would love to see Legend of Korra figures. All right, everybody, there you go. That's actually going to do it for this quick review. So, yeah, I mean, not the greatest custom printed minifigure I've ever seen, but it definitely gets the job done, and I'm happy to finally have a decent Aang minifigure as part of the collection. And, of course, this video was originally supposed to be a double review, also featuring Zuko, but I missed out on that one, and I'm currently waiting on their restock. So, until then, I hope you enjoyed this review, and if you did, be sure to let me know by dropping the video a like below, because that's how this whole YouTube thing works. Regardless, I'm going to get back to work on my custom Mandalorian minifigures. Of course, the progress for those is going up on Patreon right now. And also, you can always catch me over on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all those places, doing all my digital Photoshop edits and uh, interacting with you guys there. I actually just posted these really good Phantom Apprentice edits from the final arc of Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and uh, it's always fun for me to trickle those in here and there when I get time. So that's going to do it, guys. I hope one day I will get the chance to make my own Avatar 
minifigures is just right now I'm so focused on The Mandalorian and Avengers Endgame this year and then whatever next year will bring slotting in like a whole space for an Avatar showcase it, it's just not really feasible at this point in time but we will see appreciate you guys being here maybe at some point in the future I'll build like an oppa or something using one of the digital instructions um, by some of the amazing designers in this community so I'm gonna go I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week take care stay safe keep creating and I'll see you soon